It is so early. I never do my makeup this early, but as you guys should know by now, I'm a working woman. I look rough. I am getting ready before work, so that's why it's so early and that's why I'm half dead right now. You can hear it in my voice. I sound like I'm decaying just a little bit. I have my passport picture that I'm getting taken today and this will be my picture for the next 10 years, so I need to look good. Let's just go into it. I do all my like skincare the night before usually, but just add a little bit of extra moisture in the morning because I'm a dry, dry girl. I did go through two different gua sha phases and apparently it wakes up your lymphatic system. I don't notice any difference, honestly. All the puffiness that occurs in my face is probably because I just eat too much salt. So I don't know if this will help me. Ugh, don't feel like it. Basically everything in my makeup routine has changed since the last time I made a video. So I'm really glad that we're here and I'm really glad that you're joining me. This is what I love to use on my face for some light coverage because I don't have any pimples right now. My skin is clear. It does not look cakey at all. And it gives me some color without giving me coverage. I once had a woman that was waxing my eyebrows, wax them like this, like she cut the front like that. Yeah, it was not for me. I was devastated even at the time. I was like, why did you, why did you do that? I have also been using a brow growth serum. You guys know I love Grande Lash. Well, they sent me brow serum as well. Honestly, I feel like I can already see it working. Like I just stick it here and here and up here. And guys, let me tell you, your brows are so important. When I look back at my 2016 brow phase, I cringe. It was the worst brow shape for my entire face. It brought my eyes down. It was bad. I'm all about that arch now and that's what suits my face. The concealer that I use is this Kosas. I don't know how to say it. I gotta look good for the post office. I have to. It's so weird doing my makeup in dead silence when I'm not talking. I am almost always listening to true crime. Whenever I've fallen asleep listening to true crime and YouTube autoplay is on and it keeps playing more true crime, I have vulgar, disgusting dreams. That is worrisome. I need to start listening to like rainbows and butterflies. Oh, I should be listening to like Taylor Swift talking while I sleep so that I am meeting her in my dreams. That sounds like way better than watching people get murdered in my dream. Let's just swiftly change the subject. So I am putting powder all over my face now. I would tell you guys to go get this amazing milk blur and set powder, but they discontinued it. I, I have no idea why anyone would discontinue such an amazing powder. Been the powder that I've used for like probably the past three years, so. And I've only had to buy it one time. I take my Anastasia light to medium contour kit. I just mix these. Everything looks like a mess in this palette. And I pinch the brush so it's really skinny so I get to like concentrate it and I put it on my cheekbone. Oh, that always happens to me because I'm a heavy handed girl. What can I say? I then take like a regular powder brush and just literally like fix it. House is set up right here. I'm sitting at my vanity. I hate that you can see the reflection over here and I hate that you can see my toilet over there. Ew. Get that forehead. Gotta get the neck and you've gotta get the ears. I look less dead already. Now I take this little guy. It's a very tiny brush. And I just take one of my contour shades. I switch which one every day. I add a shadow under my bottom lip. I also do the same thing right above my lip too. And now I literally look like my lips got injected. Ooh, I think I did a little bit too much on the bottom. I really wanted to emphasize the effect, but sometimes if you do that, you do too much. I can't tell if I look psychotic or not. I'm going to carry on under my nose, just like this. I said this in a video before, but according to AI technology, my nose is long, so I shorten it. I'm not done yet. Okay, I know it looks kind of weird. It looks like I kind of am an animal for Halloween or something. Then I take a tiny bit and go right here to give myself a button nose. I've never been one for nose contour but I literally do this every single day now. Don't worry, I blend it. It just gives you like a cute little nose. And to tie everything together, you must add blush. Like it always looks weird until I add the blush and get that blush all over your nose. Like you guys, you need to have just a clean, 
I use that term lightly because I haven't washed this brush in four years. A clean brush that you can use to like wipe away all your heavy handedness. I'm not delicate, but I need something to like help me out here. I'm gonna line my lips and we add a gloss. I'm literally out of Vaseline. I've refilled this Vaseline tub like four times and I just used to, when I lived at home, go into my mom's giant Vaseline tin and just scoop out some more Vaseline. Like I would just dig this in and go like that. And she was like, who took a chunk out of my Vaseline every time? And I was like, me. What can I say? But I don't know what to do now. I can't go scoop my mommy's Vaseline because she doesn't live here. <laughs> I'm just gonna lightly fill in my eyebrows. On the outer end, this eyebrow, it needs more help. She's uglier. I've always hated this eyebrow. What we do next, before we put our little eyebrow pencils away, is we add freckles like all over our nose. I literally just go ham all over my nose bridge. And it really brings together my contour. I don't know like what it is but it just does. And I take, ooh, sorry about my hangnail. I'm an anxious person, what can I say? Not really actually, I'm not that anxious. But I do self-destructive habits out of habit. What a wonderful sentence. Let's just get to my eyes because I really need to take care of those things. Cause I can't stand looking into those beady little eyeless souls. Beady little, I don't know. I don't know what little punchline I was trying to do there, but it failed. I'll tell you that much. I'm obsessed with Morphe palettes now because they're huge and pigmented and they're cheap. Like this is like 30 bucks for all this. This is going to last me literally forever, especially at the rate that I go through makeup is really slow. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything fun today because this is a passport picture. We just want to look really snatched. And every time I'm doing my eyeshadow, my goal is to just like bring my eye out. I want my eyes to look as far apart as possible. And that's why I literally wear winged eyeliner every single day because that really achieves that look for me. I also think having further apart eyes balances my, my jaw. That's why we do it. That's why we do what we do, you know? It's giving 2016. Morphe, I can't believe it took me this long to buy one of your palettes. You are a queen. I see, now my face looks less insane already. I'm just gonna put a shimmer on my eye. Like, you guys know the drill. I do the same thing all the time. It's time for eyeliner. I've been doing my eyeliner for hooded eyes now and it is a million times better. I, I do like a little bat wing type of thing. I feel like if most people have hooded eyes. Now time to do bottom. Oh, do I wanna add any darkness on my bottom lash line? I think I do. I'm gonna use whatever's left over on this and just go like that. Yes, yes, I love it. Do I add lashes? Honestly, I don't know where my tweezers are. <laughs> so that makes that pretty difficult. These are my box of lashes. Oh my god, guys. I was so dumb once. This thing always gets stuck, so I was squeezing it after I was completely ready. It straight up exploded onto my forehead and hair and all over my face. And it was traumatic, to say the least. It taught me a valuable lesson. Never, ever face a pressurized, face a press, face a pressurized object towards your face. Just don't do it. Simple physics. Oh my God, is this thing is not, is this the universe telling me to just not use lash glue and not use lashes at all? Oh my God, it's stuck. <laughs> what the heck? I literally don't have tweezers, so I'm gonna just stick these on with my hands. I have a love-hate relationship with lashes. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Oh my God, this is hard. Nobody knows, nobody knows. I can't tell you how many times I've used these exact lashes. Like I literally don't even know. I just know it's probably insane number. Oh, I just got that in my hair. And just like that, it's done. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna wear this sweatshirt because I'm freezing and like what's gonna, like why does it matter what I wear, you know? Okay, I wanted to show you guys also what my makeup looks like in like natural lighting, not that fluorescent ugly lighting. There's all my texture. Ew. <gasps> Look at my outfit right now, hold on. Look how long my hair is getting, guys. Actually crazy, like she's long. My hair oil. I'm so glad my hair is brown again. <laughs> brown is my color. I'm never going blonde again. It's ugly. I can't tell if that's dry shampoo or dry scalp flakes. I don't know. I'm just gonna twist secure with the bobby pin. 
but next month I get to go to Detroit, Michigan. I'm getting flown out by my channel, which is crazy. I'm walking to my appointment now. It is freezing out. My eyes are like watering from the wind. I have all my important documents right here, so hopefully no one robs me. I just got back from my passport appointment and um, what a disaster that was and I'm sweating and I lost my entire lunch break on that and I haven't eaten yet, so kill me. Yeah, so the post office was out of film. Even though I, I signed up for post office film and passport, they were out of film. So I had to run all the way over to CVS and they took it there and the guy literally brings out the tiniest little camera I've ever seen in my entire life, pulls down this little white sheet. I'm looking at the camera and there's no light for a flash. So all that I have to go off of is overhead fluorescent lighting. I said it to my boyfriend, my friends, my family a million times, I hate overhead lighting and I hate fluorescent lighting. It was both of them combined. That was the ugliest picture of me I've ever, ever seen in my entire life. So this entire video is a lie. I'm gonna look ugly on my passport for the next 10 years. Oh, and my head is shaped like a traffic cone laid out on the street. Like I could see my jowls forming. I didn't even know I had those yet. That's how terrible the lighting was. I finally just get my passport. I bring it back to the place. Lady was nice. I was starting to feel better. I'm walking back and I have my folder under my arm. I'm holding in my arm, talking to Andrew, blah, 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 blah. There's construction going on. I am almost back in my house and I like, I go to grab my folder to make sure it's still there. It wasn't. It had dropped onto the streets. And I didn't notice. I don't even know when it dropped. Mind you, what's in this folder is my expired passport, my social security card, a copy of my birth certificate, and a picture of me, etc. Okay? So I immediately had to turn around and retrace my steps. And it was probably like 0.3 miles back. Luckily, I found it and no one stole my identity. Can you imagine? Someone could have opened up credit cards under my name, destroyed my credit, destroyed my life. Um, but... It was blended in with a bunch of trash. The copy of my birth certificate was literally under a bloody napkin. Anyway, that was a traumatic experience for me. <sighs> Thank God I don't have to do that for another 10 years. I'm gonna conclude this video here because I got a lot of work to do and I'm going to New York literally tomorrow. So I wanna edit this video tonight, get it all ready. Why am I saying all this? You guys don't care. Stay tuned for my New York vlog with Andrew. It's gonna be super fun. If you made it all the way to the end, comment, I can't believe that happened. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you soon. Bye.